Hello Wolfpack, this is video number 70. In this video I'd like to discuss my recent EDC purchases. Uh, I'll be talking specifically about the Maxpedition Fatty Pocket Organizer. This was a purchase along with a, a larger order for the 2018 Black Friday sales. It was a buy one get one free. Uh, I want to uh, show you in this video, uh, or I'll be reviewing two items. One is the, the the quality and the features of the pouch versus the practicality. Uh, I won't be talking about the materials that are used because Maxpedition is uh, well known for using high quality materials. Uh, and they do last a long time from what I can see. So with that, um, I'll also be doing a comparison of the Fatty versus an EDC pocket organiser, which is the, I believe, one of the next one down, or a similar sort of pocket organiser, as well as the Maxpedition Mini. Yeah, Mini. So, let's start. Uh, this is the Fatty pocket organiser. This is how it comes. Um, it did come in from the factory in a... Uh, plastic bag, um, but other than that there was no fancy wrapping, which is really great because I don't really like fancy wrapping. Um, the length is one, two, about, about three can widths long, about two can widths wide, and the depth when emptied is roughly about uh, half a can, half a can's depth. Um, for those of you, the, of you that don't understand about the can measurements, which is a 425 gram can of baked beans, uh, check out one of my earlier videos. I'm pretty sure it's the M1 pouch that I reviewed where I explain it. Um, same with the $5 note. So you've got one, two, about three $5 notes width, um, or length rather. You've got one, two, oops, two and just a tiny little bit more for width and depth. Got the depth of the queen's hair, oh, neck, neck, shoulder, when measuring it. God save the queen. Um, so, with that, um, I'll review the inside in half a second. Uh, I just want to explain that the it's important to measure it in in those methods for me because. Uh, it's different and if you want the specific dimensions of these go to the Maxpedition website. They do have it on it uh, so Maxpedition Fatty um, Start on the front has a hook and loop as the standard little front pouch, which I always find uh, Difficult to, to understand how they use it or why they have it there um, Personally, I've always found it completely useless when the pack is full is a pack that's full and oh partially full and it's starting to become difficult to get into especially with the fat fingers that I have um, so little uh, velcro uh, to keep the the top of the pouch secure we've got uh, double zippers, is the, um, double pull zippers with the ties. Uh, I believe that these are YKK zippers. Let me just check. Yes, they're YKK zippers written there. Um, no grommet. On the back, you've got the pull handle with box stitching as well as molly uh, capabilities. Now opening it up, it opens up into a uh, left and right and to a clamshell design. I don't 
Um, I actually don't like this layout for pouches. Um, this is, they've got a strap here and then the, you have to rotate it and it's got it there. I personally don't like that, but I understand why they do it. My personal preference is on the EDC pocket organizer. Um, where you've got it all the way across um, rather than one here and then one there. But that's just my personal preference. It's not, I mean, I can live with it. It's not the end of the world. Um, so on the left hand side, you've got uh, two straps, one on the underneath, um, which allows you to slide items in. But this pocket uh, organizer, this particular fatty one, and the other one in the buy one get one free has a um, manufacturing error in it. Um, they've stitched the back of uh, this loop to the to the actual part down here, um, and that's not the correct way. You should be able to to uh, slide larger items underneath this bottom strap. But they're, apparently they're going to send me out some replacements. Um, with that, so I'll talk about I'll talk about this top strap. You can slide two, four, six items at, on the top strap and three additional larger items below. You've got a pocket flap at the back, as well as a key lanyard and just branding. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary compared to all my last videos. Uh, you've got a middle middle strap here which allows you to put something in there for this but there is no grommet other pouches you'll find that um, they do have grommets uh, on the right hand side um, turn side on you've got two larger straps which once again have been actually I didn't notice this I just figured that out um, they've actually stitched to this one to it as well I just I just realized that so um, normally you're supposed to be able to fit larger items behind this one but they've stitched it so you can fit two four on the, on the top strap right? and um, so four items on the top and two on the bottom right one here and one here but for Clearly for my pouch, since it seems to be extra special, I'm able to put four. So that's that's out of the ordinary. But um, you can take a look at other people's videos on their Maxpedition and you'll come to find that that is a larger item, as I understand. Like that is a larger um, area to put things in. Uh, you've got a zip area at the top or on the side. Nothing really special about it. Um, that's about it for the for the pouch for the internal. Um, there's a couple of points that I want to want to raise. Is that, and I only realised this the other day, and it kind of irritates me. Um, you'll see here that the pouches, these are fabulous pouches, and I'd recommend them to anyone simply because they look and feel very good, and the company's not too bad to deal with. You'll come to find that. At the top here, you'll see where the zipper is, right? It's at the top of the pouch rather than in the middle, which I tend to find incredibly irritating because um, I, per I personally prefer the zipper to be in the middle, right? In the middle of the pouch and you have fabric on one side and fabric on the other. Whereas the Maxpedition pouches, they've always got the zipper at the top and this uh, the fabric below. So. I don't know whether you guys have noticed that. I don't know whether um, it's even worth observing. It's not a complaint. It's just a more of a personal preference. So, um, as far as manufacturing this particular um, product, I'd call it poor, simply because it's had a couple of errors in it. The quality, uh, the the materials used are very high quality. I think it's just a missed quality assurance issue um, but what's important is not not that you got a bad product that that's not the problem what people are really interested in is that or in my opinion anyway is that you 
you get a bad product, but the company looks after you. And it's everyone understands that there's problems in the world and you, you, you can always get a bad product from time to time. But so long as the company looks after you, and so far, um, Maxpedition has done that. We'll wait to see if they um, fulfill that. So that's that. Um, I will compare this now. Oh, as far as practicality rating, um, one thing I did miss was this uh, little loop at the top, just for the left side. Um, so I would have always preferred, and I've said this in other videos, I would have preferred a second loop on this side rather than the key chain, key, key lanyard. Um, practicality wise, this looks to be a high um, practicality item. And the reason being is, is this is another Maxpedition fatty. This is the other one in the buy one get one free. And this is one that I've uh, fitted out um, with my stationary items. So with that, this is how it would look. Um, these uh, particular organizers that have errors in them, because at the back here, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, but you can see the stitching there at the back. So once again, these are sealed to the back of it. Um, anyway, with that practicality um, wise, it's it's really good. Um, there's nothing stupid on these particular pouches. There's, there's nothing, um, like for example, there's no small zippers. This, this zipper here isn't small, so I don't have to just like open it and struggle to get my fingers in. I can really kind of open it up and get in there. Really happy with that. Um, once again, as usual, I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, I just don't like this, this front um, strap area. But other than that, I love the pouch so far. There's been no issues. Now I'll compare this to the uh, Maxpedition EDC pocket organizer. Um, this pocket organizer, or the EDC, doesn't really fit inside the other one. So they're roughly about the same length and width. Not depth, because they're, they're half the size, from what I can see, just based on holding it together. Uh, but the, the, the primary difference, um, besides depth in this, is the left to right. Um, so in the EDC pouch organizer, it goes all the way across. In the fatty, it goes across and then downwards. Um, there's no, there's a zipper in the fatty, whereas there's no zipper in this one. But in the EDC, you've got the hook on this side, but no hook on here. So primarily, they're the, they're the main differences. Other than that, um, they're almost exactly the same. So depth and right-hand side. Uh, to compare the, the fatty to the next one down, which is the mini, or one of the next ones down, um, the Mini can fit clearly inside the Fatty and easily easily have enough room to uh, seal it up, no problem. And the layout, you can't really compare the, uh, the height and width because they're clearly different, um, but once again the smaller pouches seem to have a, always seem to have uh, running loops, so left side all the way across, whereas the larger pouches have the side ones. Um, I think that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please, uh, please leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. I don't promise to answer them straight away, but I'll do my best to. Uh, Respect who you are, respect where you come from, and Advanced Australia Fair. Thank you, Wolfpack. Bye.